Hey, Dana, how you doing today? I'm great. How you doing? Doing fantastic. Everyone is extremely excited about UFC 116 this weekend. Me too. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a wonderful job. I mean, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> I saw the interview you had with Brock when ESPN when he first started healing up, and, and he looks like he's in prime shape for his fight against uh, Shane. And uh, we want to talk to you a little bit about the festivities. I know you have a huge fan experience going on out there this time. Yeah, uh, today actually was the uh, the open workout where you got to go in and watch the fighters work out. Huge success. Tons of people showed up, tons of media. And then uh, always exciting are the weigh-ins on Friday. Friday's insane. The place is, you know, Vegas is buzzing about the fight. The weigh-ins are packed. People are going crazy to see the guys weigh-in, and then obviously leads right into Saturday for the fight. Uh, I mean, I'll tell you what, everyone's so excited here in the Philadelphia area. You're on, uh, you're on uh, the MMA and Sports Extreme show, which is a really fast-growing show. Every week we have uh, different celebrities on, different fighters, and, and people are very excited about, I mean, all the bars in the area are putting up their signs that they're having the fight, so you're, you're doing well with that. And tell us a little bit about you know, some of the other fights, too. We're going to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, Shane and, and Brock. But you have some other great fights on the card as well. Yeah, well, one of the fights that I'm actually pumped about, we, we, we got very, very lucky on this fight. Vanderlei Silva was fighting Akiyama. And Akiyama is this Japanese guy who just comes in, guns a blaze, and, mm -hmm. and basically fights like Vanderlei. He's a judo so guy, we were right? all pumped up for that fight. Vanderlei cracks his ri rib in training, has to pull out. Well, we end up getting Chris Lieben in there. So now Chris Lieben versus Akiyama is going to be a fun one, too. Lieben fought last weekend on the uh, Ultimate Fighter finale and looked great. Uh, we got Matt Brown and Chris Lytle, which I'm predicting is probably going to end up being fight of the night. And then Stefan Bonner and uh, Christoph Szczynski and Kurt Pellegrino and George Sotteropoulos. Yeah, Kurt's a friend of our show. We've had him on a few times. Isn't and he it, awesome? Yeah, he's amazing. And uh, it was funny, uh, we, we, we had him on, and he was looking forward to, to getting down and dirty this weekend. And um, when, when I look at your fights and all these fighters, they have 40, 50 fights. I mean, this is some very seasoned MMA fighters to make for an amazing pay-per-view. How can people watch this if they can't get to their local bar at home? Yeah, I mean, it, it's available on pay-per-view. Call your uh, local satellite or uh, cable provider and watch it right at home. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, your fans are going to be packing that place out and your VIP. I know you guys do an amazing VIP experience. And, you know, I want to make sure the fans know we're talking to the, I call the big kahuna of the UFC, Dana White, uh, here on the MMA and Sports Extreme show. I want to make sure that everyone knows that that is the number one organization for MMA worldwide. If, uh, you know, these up-and-coming fighters that are going to other organizations, their dream, their goal is to fight in the UFC. Well, thank you. Well, I tell you what, we, we, we try and talk about you every week on the show. We, uh, we had 27,000 people last week come on and watch the – we actually do it in HD television as well – we had 27,000 people last week come on the, on the website and watch it. And uh, we'll make sure we keep pumping up all of your events. Uh, I'm, I'm personally pulling for Brock because I know that what he fought through with the diverticulitis and changing his diet and taking care of himself, was uh, it's a testament to everyone out there for a clean living. And uh, he did a great so job true. of that. It's crazy, man. It's unbelievable that, that, you know, because he ate so much protein and didn't get enough vegetables and all the other things that he's supposed to get, that's how he ended up uh, getting that. The crazy thing about that is the doctors told him he's only been at 60 or 70 percent uh, the last couple of years. So if he's only been at 60 and 70 percent and you see the damage that this guy's done, what's he going to look like at 100 percent? Oh, he's going to be an animal this weekend. Uh, you know, he's, he's a real tribute to the real meaning of mixed martial arts with his uh, collegiate wrestling background, his pro wrestling background, his training like a beast and all the different forms that are needed for, for getting into the, ring, uh, the cage with the UFC and the octagon. He, uh, I think he's going to be very dominating this weekend, even though, you know, Shane Kerwin is, a, is an amazing fighter, an amazing specimen. Brock Lesnar's a force. He's a beast, man. This is going to be a fun one. It's interesting. Uh, I'll tell you what. I, even you, some of the other fighters I was looking through, I got the whole printout here you guys sent over, which is fantastic. Um, I, I think you're going to see, you know, they want to watch every single one of these fights. It's, it, there's not going to be a drop-off in the quality of, of the competitions at all. No, it's going to be good. Plus, don't forget, uh, you know, before we go on, uh, on pay-per-view, the, uh, the Spike prelims are, the prelims are free on Spike. So you can tune into Spike TV and watch the prelims for free before the pay-per-view. And that's, uh, we have um, that one Ricardo uh, Romero and Seth Petruzzi, Petruelli. <laughs> that's a tough one. Exactly. Seth, yeah, <laughs> and Seth Brendan Schaub and Chris, uh, the heavyweights. Uh, are they yeah. super heavyweight? Chris no, they're heavyweights. And Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub is uh, actually Shane Carwin's training partner. And Chris DeShore is Brock Lesnar's training partner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a heavyweight championship light. 
Is that funny? Uh, that's awesome, man. I'll tell you what, I, you know, one of the things that, you know, what's kind of spreading around the country is that you guys make it an experience for the fans. That, you know, obviously you have amazing competition with the best talent inside the Octagon, but you make an entire fan experience with the UFC Fan Expo, which just happened, uh, what, last month, right? Yep. And we're doing another one in Boston in August. Well, make sure if you have a, a press release and you want to get information out about that, we have a lot of listeners up in the New York, Boston area. We'll make that available for everyone on our website and on the show that week as well. Cool. Thank you. But, uh, you know, we're on the phone here with Dana White, like I said, the big kahuna of the UFC that's grown this sport faster than any sport in the world. And, uh, you know, at the MMA and Sports Extreme Show, Dana, we thank you for everything that you're doing. Uh, we support everything you're doing. And uh, just let us know anything we can do to help you build the UFC. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you, Dana. Good luck with everything this weekend. This is James Jefferson, JJ, on the MMA and Sports Extreme Show. And that was Dana White, the big kahuna of the UFC.